patients who had involved margins or had extra capsular extension of disease did better with the addition of chemo radia to radiation, whereas patients who got on to either of the trials uh, for other reasons did not seem to benefit from uh, the addition of chemotherapy. What we found at 10 years now in the uh, current analysis is that when we looked at the group of patients that were included in the trial, because they had either involved margins or extra capsule extension or both of those factors, that the overall survival was close to but not statistically significant. However, the disease-free survival and the local control was significantly improved by the addition of chemotherapy. The take-home message is that even with the passage of 10 years' time, for those patients who have surgery and are found to have involved, microscopically involved margins of resection and or extra capsular extension, the addition of concurrent cisplatinum uh, chemotherapy to standard postoperative radiation does improve local regional control and does improve uh, disease-free survival. And uh, even though the uh, overall survival is not statistically significant, it certainly is in the right direction. So we have a therapy that's effective even in the long term for patients who fall into those categories. The other bit of good news is that we now know that patients who have uh, involved lymph nodes, multiple involved lymph nodes, but don't have either of the other two factors, really don't appear to benefit from this regimen of chemotherapy added to radiation therapy. So in a sense, we've not only improved the uh, quality of the uh, therapy for a subgroup of patients, we've also managed to identify another subgroup of patients who we can spare from the toxicity of combined therapy.